Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yassin, and today I have with me the MacBook Pro 13 inch with a touch bar. Now, a lot of people have been giving this MacBook a hard time this year, and they're even going to the point of saying that it shouldn't have the word Pro in its title. I know it's lacking in a lot of key areas, but I'm here to tell you the top eight features that make this thing a great MacBook this year. In no particular order, I'm going to start with the most obvious and the newest feature, and that's the touch bar. The touch bar is very innovative and handy. Does it not only cater to whatever app you're using, but it's also customizable. The ability to change and be programmed to whatever the application needs is what makes the touch bar a game changer. As more developers get their hands on it, the touch bar's possibilities will become endless. At times, it might go crazy and do weird stuff right now but it has been extremely functional for a first generation product and I'm sure Apple will improve it with future MacBooks. Touch ID has finally come to the MacBook lineup and it's a welcomed feature. With Touch ID you are not only able to unlock your device more securely and faster but you can also make payments. Touch ID also lets you switch between users on the MacBooks if you're on a shared device. In all honesty when something improves security and speeds up the most common tasks like unlocking your MacBook, then it definitely makes my list of favorite features. Apple always had the best trackpads in the laptop industry, and yet they managed to make it somehow even better. This new trackpad is 46% larger than before, measuring at 5.3 inches by 3.3 inches. And with this, you can accomplish so much more and are able to do more with one hand gestures. There are some issues with palm rejection right now, but this will definitely improve with software updates. The new MacBook Pro comes with four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports. And that is three more than the previous MacBooks, so that's a shift in the right direction. But what makes these ports special is their versatility. A single Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port can be used for power, Thunderbolt, USB, DisplayPort, or HDMI. I know right now it seems like I need an adapter for each of those things, but in the future, being able to have one cable for all my devices is really exciting. Not to mention that Thunderbolt 3 can also reach speeds of up to 40 gigs per second. That alone makes me on board. Specs are nothing unless it comes in a good looking package. And I think that's something a lot of companies seem to overlook. The MacBook Pro looks and feels amazing. MacBooks have always been sharp, edgy, and premium. And with all that, Apple still managed to make this year's MacBook Pro thinner and lighter. It has better battery life, new Intel processor chips, and a larger trackpad, yet it is 17% thinner than previous MacBook Pros and only weighs 3 pounds which happens to be the same size as the MacBook Air 11 inch. Think about that. And when you put it all together, the MacBook Pro has a 23% smaller footprint, which is an amazing feat to accomplish. MacBooks always had great displays, and this year it just got better. It has all the goodness from previous years, and the viewing angles are great as usual. But it has gotten brighter, 67% brighter which is actually noticeable when you are outside in the daylight. This display is also more vivid and the colors just pop, and that's thanks to a 25% better color output. This year's display is just downright gorgeous. So if you haven't noticed, I have the Space Gray MacBook Pro. I love this color. I love the fact that Apple gave us a new color this year, and I'm really hoping that we get more colors in the future. I'm sure rose gold is something that's high on everybody's list, but I would love to have an all black matte finish MacBook Pro with a glossy Apple logo. If someone can get that out to Apple, that would be great. And the final feature that I love about this year's MacBook is something that hardly gets mentioned, and that's software and hardware integration. A lot of people dislike the MacBooks because they are overpriced and underspecced. But to be honest with you, specs aren't everything if they can't work smoothly with the software. Rendering a 4K video with a MacBook Pro is so much faster than doing the same thing with a laptop with equivalent specs or marginally better specs. 
and for whatever reason the software is just better optimized for MacBooks and that is why I believe that specs at times can be overlooked if the overall performance is better. So those were my favorite features of the MacBook Pro. Let me know which one you liked and if there's one that I missed let me know what it is in the comments section below. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one and until then stay plugged.